coffee table that I'm going to pour on. Um, I did the end table that matches this um, and I got a lot of requests to do a video how to so here it is. Um, what I did already was I stripped, well not really stripped, I sanded down the top here of the table. Um, I used this spray, this easy strip uh, spray just sprayed some of this on there and then um, I used uh, regular old sandpaper sanded it down um, so what this now has is got a lot of nice uh, little fine scratches on it so that when I go ahead and prime it um, I will uh, this stuff will really stick well to the wood I'll prime it the same way I would gesso a canvas so I do two coats. I'll do a coat and then you go one way and the other way. Make sure you got even coverage going both ways. Wait for it to dry and then add a second coat. Oh, and then the brush that I'm using. Okay, so this is adding that first coat on here of the Primer. I'm just going to try and get this as uniform as possible. Um, paint dries really quickly, so just kind of have it go from side to side. And it's okay that there's lines in here. Um, I was actually going for like a textured look, so. If you don't want that, um, you could probably do this with a roller to get more even coverage and the lines. <laughs> but that'll do for now for the first coat. And uh, obviously I have frog tape over here because I I didn't want to worry about it going over the lip. Um, and then that frog tape will stay on there the whole time. And it'll come off when the top is done. Okay. I'm just gonna add a little bit more. Um, and then the next coat is gonna go the opposite direction. Okay, so as you can see, this is all now completely dry. You can see when I get really close here, how, you know, it's, it isn't universal coverage, that's okay. This is just the first coat. So by the time we do the second coat, um, going the opposite way, it'll uh, get rid of a lot of, a lot of that. Okay, so as you can see here, um, we have much more of a crisscross pattern. Now that I'm going the opposite way, um, it's almost, it's getting very similar to the way a canvas would look. And um, definitely getting more coverage here on the sides than it was there before. And what I'll do now is I'm going to let this dry. The lines are all nice and even, everything looks good, um, and I'm going to let this dry, and then I'm going to make sure that nothing has landed on it overnight, and I can just come back in here and uh, sand it down tomorrow uh, if it needs it, might not need it. Um, but I do like to just kind of sand down the edges a little bit. This is the coat fully dried. And 
fun. You can still see a little bit peeking through. It's exciting that this is so exciting <laughs> uh, to look at white, but uh, that's what we got here. It's all nice and white. Um, with that last coat, you can see that it's actually completely all nice and even. instead of doing a white base to pour over, I'm going to use this uh, brushed metal. Yeah, I didn't really like the design, the way that it came out, and uh, that's partly because of the fact that I definitely didn't use enough paint. So um, my plan is to take uh, this very large empty jug here use a funnel and put the paint into the funnel and um, and then spread it that way Yeah. 
this love is this love or should I close the door Should I, well now should I, or should I, or should 